Welcome back. Down in the corner of the wood shop here, in the far corner, I've got a little surface plate where I can measure things up. And uh, let's check out some boring tools. And away we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we are. Now, here's the surface plate, a little 12 by uh, 18 inch Starrett Crystal Pink Grade B Tool Room surface plate. And we've got a bevel protractor. We've got uh, a V-block. We've got a square, a surface gauge, and uh, um, a decimal rule and a rule holder. And Magnum Sharpie. You might have to get a permit for one of those. And uh, a couple of boring bars and uh, one, two, three blocks might come in handy here. Okay, let's get going on this. Let's have a look at a uh, standard boring bar. You know, this is the everyday criterion type. Let's check the angles out on this thing, see what they are. Okay. Okay, what we're heading for here is, uh, while I'm at it, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some uh, ink on the back of this with the uh, Magnum Sharpie. Okay. Won't need that. And uh, let's get this uh, boring bar in this uh, V-block here. Okay. That's pretty good for right now. And uh, I think I'm going to need a uh, one, two, three block. Okay. Now I'm going to bring the um, surface gauge on over here and adjust it so that points just on the top here. Yeah, I can just feel it there. Yeah, this is just semi-precision layout. Okay, now that boring bar's got a half-inch shank. So bring it over here to the scale, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise the ruler up so the point is right on a number. Right on 10, you know, and 2. I can feel it drop right in the slot. Okay, so I got that right there. Now, since this is a half-inch bar, there's many ways to do this, just one. I'm going to um, drop this down 250 thousandths. Right about there. I think that's pretty good. Don't want to get too much parallax error. I think that's about right, right there. Let's see if you can see that. I think you can see that okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that around. And since that's the center of the shank here, that's where the point should be when it's in your uh, boring head. So I'm going to bring that tip right, right there, okay? Okay. Now, ideally, that's how it is in your boring head right there, you know, the tip centered. Okay. So we'll slide that over here for now, and I'll bring the um, a bevel protractor up here and see if we can check the uh, uh, the relief angles. Um, I'm going to have to get my head down and probably, uh, yeah, it's just quite a bit on this one. I don't think this has been reground, but it needs to be ground anyway. Let's see what that relief angle is. It is right about, ah. Uh, Holy cow, it's more, it's, it can't be that much. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, it is that much. It is nearly 14 degrees. Okay, <coughs> but see, that's got to go in a circle. Here's the ring that I ground. See, that's got to go in a circle. Okay, so you got to have that clearance. Okay. So we can check the front relief angle too. And I don't think it's quite as much, but it, it, it's plenty. It, it's kind of hard to judge because the carbide's quite thin on there. You know, to get like, you know, ultra accurate without looking at it under a microscope. So I'm going to say that's about 12, 
15 degrees there too. Okay. Okay. Now to uh, check the uh, uh, the top angles, we can um, next take and scribe a line since I have that centered. See, get a line scribed across there. See if you can see it. Okay, that line is right right across center. Okay, get that out of the way. Bring the square over here. We'll loosen the V-block. And uh, just rotate, rotate that around so it's square. A little bit of parallax error probably for me, but I think that's good enough right there. Okay. Oh, I, I rotated it the wrong way, but it, it doesn't matter. I think it'd be better if I just rotated the other. Easier to see. Okay. That's all right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now we can get this side, we can measure the side angle now. Okay. And, and see what it is. Yeah, we got that. We got that where it's supposed to be. And I'm not kidding. I, I always find these kind of strange sometimes. That uh, just what these actually are. Okay, what is that? That is like zero. Okay, it's got zero side rake. Okay, now let's check the um, the um, the back rake. Okay, to do that, we got to set this like this. And I think I can just slip it like that. Oh, I think actually I'm going to have to really stack it that way. So we'll set it like this and I'll let it slip down. Okay, then I'll put the uh, bevel protractor on top of the one, two, three block. And then we can access that angle a little bit better. Let me get this blade just up a little bit. This is an old brown and sharp protractor here. 100 years old, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. Now, the, the shear action is on, the, is on the back rake on this tool here. And that angle is just almost six degrees, okay? So we've got um, zero side rake and about six degrees um, back rake. Okay, how are we doing on time here? Not too bad. Okay, oh, one more thing you can do when it's in this position. You can bring um, this back over and let's get it back up on that uh, one, two, three block. Bring this back over. And uh, now we got that, see, did we get that zeroed back here? We didn't. Let's, let's drop this uh, since we're on center still, see? Let, it, it's easier. We'll drop this back down to that number right there. It's either two or 10, see, on the ruler. Okay. So we're right there. Now let's bring this back over and we can go to the tip here. Right about like that, that's pretty good. Then bring it back over to the scale and we can see about the, uh, the radius is uh, 300 thousandths. So the minimum hole is gonna be uh, 6.6. Is the minimum hole for for this for this? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Well, here's one of my custom tools here, and uh, bring the Magnum Sharpie back over, and. Uh, Ink that up pretty good, okay. 
and we'll just do the we'll do the same thing over. Okay. I'm gonna bring the tip right right to the top. Okay. Show you that a couple of times. Bring bring the scale back over here. And I'm gonna raise it up and zero it just because it's easier. Okay. Now I'm gonna drop it down 250 thousandths. And that'll get it to the center of the bar. Let's get it over here again. Use the fine adjustment. Okay, now we whip this back around, bring it over and get the tip centered. Okay. Okay, now that's how it's gonna be in the boring head. We'll come back around and go ahead and scribe it so we can, you know, have a look at that, uh, um, the top angles. See? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go to the top angles because my, my front and side angles are fairly much the same. Okay, but I increase the, uh, um, the side angle here. Where on the stock boring bar, it's not. Okay. I just want to show you that. That's how, that's how you get high shear. And, and this is a good way to inspect these, uh, inspect these boring bars. Let's see if we can measure that, have time to measure that. I'll go ahead and I'm going to 